Care to elaborate? There's not much more to say except you are a poop head. <laughs> Poophead. Hello everyone, this is Laszlo from My Heart Anime. I'm glad to be back and doing some anime videos again. I apologize for the long wait. We've been working on a lot of projects and we're ready to get back into these videos. Today we're going to be reviewing Sankra, Undying Love. A cool new zombie story that puts a twist on everything that we know about zombies and makes it a unique love story. This is recommended by... Thank you guys for tuning in. Let's get ready to review Sankra. Sankara Undying Love is a story about Chihiro Furuya, a male high school student with an obsession for all things zombie. His dream is to have a zombie girlfriend, so he's basically a closet necrophiliac. The story begins with the death of his beloved cat, Babu. Chihiro cannot cope with the death of Babu, and so when he finds an old manuscript which describes the process of resurrection, he jumps at the chance to revive Babu. This is when he meets the second main character, Ria Sanka. At their first meeting, she was attempting to commit suicide to escape from her demanding father. She joins Chihiro on the quest to revive Babu. One day, they happen to discover the right formula to revive Babu by introducing a poisonous flower named Hydrangea. Rhea steals a bit of the potion and later that night attempts to end her life by drinking it. To her surprise, it does not affect her until one day her sick, obsessed papa, Danichiro Sanka, tracks her down in an attempt to forcefully bring her home. In her rush to escape, she slips and falls from a cliff and dies. And thus, Rea is reborn as a zombie, and the story progresses with Chihiro and his new zombie girlfriend. Sankara has some very cool things to it. The reason why I like the anime is because it has a new twist to the zombie genre. It's basically a love story with a zombie in it. It's something that I don't think I would have ever thought of, and it's cool that they're doing this in a way that's not weird, but can still be funny. The animation's beautiful, and the voice acting is extremely well done. For me watching it in English, I usually watch in Japanese, but I actually liked it in English, um, so it wasn't bad at all. The bad elements of Sankara is that for a comedy, it's not always very funny. The story is really well done in the beginning and then tends to drag towards the middle and then picks up again towards the end. The characters are way too okay with Rhea being, Rhea being a zombie. They all seem to take it like it's a perfectly normal thing for a person to become a zombie, which I thought was very weird about the story. And then the story as well can be deeper and have more twists to it to basically having the life of, of Rhea and Chihiro be a little bit more complicated because he does have a zombie girlfriend, so there could be deeper story elements to that. You may like this anime if you like a heavy dosage of fan play. You may also like this anime if you love having good friends. Yeah, watching them. So you're like a stalker or something. I thought you were into dudes, but it turns out you're just painfully shy! Stop it! <laughs> How's that feel? You like your dudes? Talk about being a horny bastard. You may like this anime if you're a fan of natural loofa loofa sponges. I've never seen anything like it. I think maybe. You use it like this to do exercises with. You may not like this anime if there's too many horn dogs in your life. Just like this one. You may not like this anime if you have some serious daddy issues. Can't be true. It's not possible. Fucking pedophile. You may also not like this anime if you didn't have enough pervs as it was. Now you have old ones too. I've never heard that name either. Thank you guys for joining us here at iHeartAnime. This is Lazlo. It's been a fun time. If you guys have any anime you would like us to review, please just make a post, comment, let us know what we can do better, what you would like to see. And thank you guys so much for your time. Have a good one, and I'll talk to you soon.